may have seen the promos this fall on NBC called The Good Place, starring Ted Danson and Kristen Bell. Trust me when I say it's good. There are frozen yogurt shops on every block, stores where everything fits, and smiling people. I wasn't quite sure if I belonged, but turns out I was in good company. So welcome to eternal happiness. Welcome to The Good Place. It genuinely combines my two favorite things, which is laughter and exploring what it means to be a good person, which is what the crux of the show is. Taking a stroll around the good place, it's clear why Kristen Bell and Ted Danson enjoy coming to work every day. Ted is one of the, it sounds very general, but it's the truth, the nicest people I have ever met. With just a tinge of dangerous sexuality. Just, a t just the right amount of dangerous sexuality. Ted's character on The Good Place is Michael, undangerously sexy, but a wise and earnest architect who built and manages the exclusive neighborhood in the afterlife. And Kristen's character? I'm sort of the, the mistake that got into The Good Place. Eleanor Shellstrop is not exactly the selfless attorney for whom she's been mistaken. Those aren't my memories. I wasn't a lawyer. I never went to the Ukraine. I hate clowns. Both Kristen and Ted agree that working together is a huge draw to the project. We bond over a lot of things. We're constantly talking about how codependent we both are and who in, in the room. To each other or oh, in your separate oh, no, relationships? No, 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 separate relationships. Yeah. So you are all about family, children, Dax. It doesn't define me, though I love it. But I feel like you're the same way because. No. <laughs> Very <laughs> Mary drop on? Very needy. <laughs> I need this. Do you need Mary? I bet you yes. need Mary oh, so yeah. desperately. Oh, Mary, where's my socks? Mary, Mary. No, no, she won't let me do that. She, she insists that I am manly when it comes to my socks. <laughs> <laughs> now that you're at NBC, Ted, where you are a legend, I'm wondering, are they, I mean, and they've got close proximity and access to you. Have they brought up and tried to maybe find their way into a Cheers reunion? Afternoon, everybody. No! <laughs> I don't think they remember Cheers. It was a long time ago, so this is a new I, crowd. You I remember it, of course. You it ever been discussed how close I am old? We had an idea when uh, Frazier ended that he should walk back into the bar in Boston and go, hey, what's been happening? Yeah. And everyone would be there again. But uh, wisely, the creators went, no, don't touch it. Leave it alone. Yeah. And besides, the jokes would be, what? What'd you say? <laughs> Well, there's no shortage of laughter on the Good Place set. The smiles come easily, but it hasn't always been that way for Kristen Bell, who recently shared her longtime struggle with depression. You wrote about mental illness, something that you've carried with you in your life, and I thought that was brave. What prompted you to share it publicly? I was talking with my husband about it, and it occurred to me that I do appear to be very bubbly and positive, and I've never really shared what got me there and, and why I'm that way or the things that I've worked through, and I felt that it was a sort of social responsibility I had to not just appear to be so positive and optimistic. Is any part of you worry that sharing something like this might m affect my career in some way and I might be taking a risk? I didn't really think about it. It's not a priority to me what other people think. It's a priority to me to reach people who might be struggling with some of the similar issues that I've struggled with. I just wanted other people to know that there are options out there if they feel a sense of depression or anxiety. Like Kristen Bell, her character Eleanor is challenging the so-called perfect world, the afterlife. There's a lot of frozen yogurt places. A place in which Ted hopes to be welcomed someday. I've always been an almost, you know. I was almost summa cum laude. I was almost varsity. I I'd probably almost get to heaven. Almost. <laughs> For now, at least he gets to help all of us pretend. In the afterlife, there's a good place and there's a bad place. You're in the good place. <laughs> uh, uh, I love these two together. The Good Place premieres next Monday, September 19th. You guessed it, right here on NBC. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.